Which brings us to Triple H did a media call today. The, all, the audio is on the front page of WrestlingObserver.com if you want to listen to it. I like Triple H. I think he's trying his best. I feel bad for the guy in, in a sense because it, it, it has to suck to work at a place where politics don't allow you to say what you really think. I think that he says some things that he does really think, but bro, there's a lot of stuff that Triple H can't say. He can't come on here and talk about what a disaster it is when people get called up to the main roster that he spent so much time on and worked so hard with, and literally nothing happens with them. And in the case of an Alex Alistair Black, who was his champion in NXT, they get taken off TV for eight months, they get brought back, and they get fired. There is obviously a level of frustration right there. But then he says stuff like this. It's so funny to me sometimes how in our business, everyone is so worried about where someone is going to go or land, or how is this going to play out long term in the future? How about watch it? Do you like it or do you not like it? Do you have to say, quote, I like it, but I like this other thing more? Just watch it or don't. Now, granted, I've said something similar in the past, like, if you don't watch it, just don't watch. But this argument that is a fan... Like, if I'm a fan of NXT, he's telling me I'm not allowed to be concerned about what's going to happen when somebody is called up to the main roster? That's the whole point of NXT, is to be able to see people before they get called up to the main roster. Now you're telling me, well, don't worry about it. Just watch the show and don't be concerned about what happens when they go up to the main roster. Bro, if it doesn't matter, why am I watching the show? And then he says, stop trying to figure out where everything goes. Fans ruin their own stuff half the time, trying to figure out where everything goes and why it's going there and how, and then trying to pick up their phone and search for the thing to find out what it is. It can ruin it for them, so they aren't surprised when it happens. I don't understand that. I'm sorry that your job is to book a competent wrestling show. When I was a child, and by the way, when Triple H was a child, do you know what people called pro wrestling often? They didn't call it sports entertainment. They called it wrestling, and they called it a male soap opera. A soap opera for men. That was the term that was used for pro wrestling. A soap opera for men. Why did they call it a soap opera for men? Because it was about storylines. Obviously, we watched it for the wrestling. We were wrestling fans. But the reason that we continued to care about the wrestling show was because of the storylines. Where things were going. If you take that out of professional wrestling, it becomes the 25th season of Ultimate Fighter, which nobody watches. I don't want to just turn on the show and watch a bunch of random wrestling matches where nothing leads to anything, and there's no point to anything. I just tune in and, oh, there's some random matches this week, and they're leading to a pay-per-view where some stuff is going to happen, but it's random because nothing leads anywhere or has led anywhere. And then we go back to a TV where there's just random matches. I don't want to watch that. Bro, do you know how much wrestling... If I want to see a wrestling match... Do you want to know how many different places I can watch a wrestling match? What separates your promotion from AEW or Raw or SmackDown or Ring of Honor or Impact or New Japan or Stardom or, or All Japan, whatever? What separates you from that? The storylines. It's not just tuning in to watch two dudes or two women in the ring or in a lot of cases five men having a match. I can watch a match anywhere. So I don't like to be told, why are you worried about where things are going? Why are you worried about the direction? Why are you trying to find... Dude, that's the point! Right? Otherwise, what is the point? What is the point of watching NXT if it doesn't matter where everything's going? And I had a big argument with Dave last night. It doesn't matter if anyone wins or loses. What's the point of watching it? So anyway, I was irritated listening to this. And I'm also irritated because I know that he's irritated. 
And I'm sure he's irritated for a lot of reasons, but there's only so much that he can complain. Right now he has to complain about the fans. He can't complain about, oh, well, you know, we did all this stuff with Io Shirai, and I'd like to see her go up to the main roster, but here she is. She's back. And now we got to just do stuff with her. But what are we going to do? I don't know. Don't worry about it. I was irritated. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.